Hi guys, welcome back. It's Megan here again today, and I'm really excited to see you. I hope that you've had a great start to your week. Today we're going to start a new lesson about how God wants us to be kind to others. This lesson is going to come to us mostly from Ruth chapter 1, but also a little bit from Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 and 23. In the book of Ruth, we have a woman named Naomi who has two sons who are each married, giving Naomi two daughter-in-laws. One's named Orpah, and you guessed it, the other one's name is Ruth. But this story has some sad parts in it too. Both Ruth and Orpah's husband have died, leaving them widowed in a culture and a place where women weren't able to earn money, and now they had no means of survival. And to make it worse, Naomi's husband had died too. What were they going to do? Naomi encouraged both Ruth and Orpah to do what seemed like the most logical thing, return to their own families in Moab, while Naomi would return to her home in Judah. Orpah was very sad to leave her mother-in-law, but through tears she hugged Naomi and she left to return back to her family. Ruth could have very easily done the same thing. It made sense. If she stayed with Naomi, they had no way or plan to earn a living, and they'd have to rely on the charity of others to survive. But Ruth made a choice of extreme kindness, and she traveled back to Judah with her mother-in-law, Naomi, to a land that she didn't know. Can you imagine making that choice, traveling to a land that you don't know, instead of going back to the family that you've always known? The Bible calls us to be kind. Sometimes that's not an easy choice, but no one showed kindness better than Jesus himself. Jesus often chose, despite what other people thought, to show and serve kindness to others. And did you know that we're called to do the same thing? We're called to make choices. Even if it's hard, Jesus asks us to treat others with more than just a smile and polite words and actions. He called us to feed, clothe, and take care of others, even others that we might not know. He's even called us to show loving kindness to people that we might not always get along with and people who might not always be kind to us. And how many of you know that that can be really hard sometimes? But there's someone who can help us, Holy Spirit. We can follow Holy Spirit as He leads and guides us through every part of our lives. He will nudge you when there are moments to choose to either pick your own comfort or to care for others. And He challenges us to step into situations that may feel scary or uncomfortable in order to show kindness to someone else. And you might feel uncomfortable as you show kindness, especially to someone that you don't know or someone who isn't always nice to you. But that's a good thing. That shows and reminds us just how much we need and depend on the Holy Spirit. So your challenge for today is to find some way that you can encourage some or show kindness to someone today. And remember that it doesn't have to be someone that you're with. You could show kindness by writing a letter or calling someone who's not with you at this moment. And remember to have fun because being kind to other people is sure to bring a smile to your face too. Don't forget about our memory verse for this month that comes from Galatians 5.25 and it says, let us follow the Spirit. One more time, can you say it really loud? Galatians 5.25, let us follow the Spirit. Great job today, you guys. I can't wait to see you later and have a great rest of your day. Bye.